Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I come from Bukit Matajam, Penang. Right now, I'm staying in Kluang, Johor. So, welcome everyone to my revision class. Revision for this book, which uh, many of you bought. And um, this book is actually a complete book because there are 38, 38 different um, chapters, which I would say that covers all, every aspect of grammar that you need to know. So even if you go to level 6, level 7, even if there is a level 7, the most I give you is less than 50, 50 lessons. And just level 1 itself, you get 38, which is the foundation of uh, everything you want to know about grammar. So, previously I finished this book, every page in this book, in my last uh, video, the whole uh, session. And then I stopped for a while, and now I'm back again to do revision with you. That means the whole book do revision, but more interesting because uh, the questions are different. The questions are not the same as this book. No question is the same. Besides that, I give homework. Like this is homework. This is homework for you to do and practice at home after watching my video. And then the next video, you can see your answer. And uh, you can know how good or how um, how much you need to improve or whether you have got all correct. Okay, so this is the learning process and it's never wrong to get all wrong. Okay, it's okay, no problem. So, um, I would like to uh, discuss your homework first, the last homework I gave you. Um, actually, the last lesson was a uh, lesson two, which is uh, countable and uncountable nouns. Countable nouns means you can count. And you know that nouns are names that we give to people, animals, places, and things. Uncountable nouns means you cannot count. So I gave you 12 words the last lesson, and I drew a box. So now you fill in the box. Did you get all correct? Children and school, picture, bicycle and river, we call them countable nouns. Whereas water, sand, milk, rice, soap and sugar, they are uncountable nouns. You cannot count. So did you get all correct? So you have to write by yourself. How many correct? Over 12. And uh, today we do this still accountable and uncountable nouns, but um, today we learn M or a or N. M means one, for example, an apple, one apple. A means one, for example, a book, one book. We use N for one thing, but that one thing starts with the sound A E I O U. And A E I O U, we call them vowels. And E, we use E for sounds which are not, okay, which are not A E I O U. And those sounds, we call them. Consonants. Alright, so this is an exercise on E and N. You see, I have underlined for you. So you can listen to the sound. Orange, O. A E I O U. The sound is, then you have to use N. And then this is a D. A D is a consonant. This is a W. Consonant, so we use E. Bicycle is a B, so we use a, and 
This one E A E I O U N. Umbrella A E I O U. And then this one is a P and a, an R. So the sentence is I eat an orange after lunch. An orange means one orange. The sound is all. So A E I O U we use N. One orange. She wears a dress to work. Dress D, so you use a. My mother buys a wallet for my father, W, so you use a to show one. Talim rides a bicycle to work. Bicycle or to school, B sign, B, so you use a. Up there. My brother carries a eats an egg for breakfast. Egg starts with E, so you use N. Susila carries an umbrella when she goes out. Umbrella, U, so you use M. Ah, sound, umbrella. Farah is eating a packet of nasi lemak. P, so you use E, which means one. It's a consonant. My teacher drives a red car to school. R, so you use E. R is a consonant. It means one red car. Exercise Oh, no. Exercise 3 is your homework. Alright? So you can, uh, you know, uh, write down and next lesson we can discuss whether you got it right or not. He is drinking the cup of tea. So is it a or an? There is an on the table. Is it a or an? Mr. Lin is kind man. Is it a or an? We saw elephant in the zoo, er or n. They live in, oh, it's not the, it's they. Alright? So there's a little bit of error here. They live in, and then small house. Again, should you put a or n? There is ow on the tree. Ow, so you use a or n. She has friend in Singapore. One friend, so is it a or n? My brother is drawing picture. Picture. Is it a or is it n? One picture. So this is your homework, which uh, we will discuss the next lesson. All right? So before I uh, close this session, I wish to, in, to let you know that I'm now doing this book, Revision. All 38 chapters, but the questions are different. Okay, and I give you homework to do so that uh, you can improve. So this is part of the 38-day uh, grammar challenge. So I have an online class coming soon. November the 2nd until December the 14th. So if you want to join this online class, please WhatsApp me, 019-7878-299. You have to register now. Register the latest 31 October 2020. And uh, the online class is uh, you can actually uh, communicate with me, not like now, just listening and watching. There's a two-way process. You can interact with me. And um, the most important thing is, the exercise which I teach in the online class is different from what you are doing now. It is also different from this one because I will mix everything together. All 38 chapters mixed together. So it's more challenging. Okay, so if you are interested, just uh, register, WhatsApp me to register. So that's all for today, this lesson. Lesson 2, revision, Dr. Lee's method, grammar level 1. So please give me a like, share and subscribe. Thank you.